26 to 40, big range. Of course, warmer in the urban areas, but still very blustery and chilly everywhere. And then for tomorrow, temperatures get back in the 50s. But again, that's afternoon. Morning is chilly, and the afternoon feels better. If you're lucky enough to be going to the Jets and Patriots game, if you go Sunday night, not bad for November. 56, a lot warmer than it is right now. A little breezy oh, here in the middle end. Here's your actual weather forecast. 56 tomorrow, back to the 60s on the Sunday. I will, I will get some on YouTube. On oh, yeah? Sunday. Yeah. Same thing Tuesday, I get back home. Big rain's probably likely in the afternoon, and then it gets windy and cooler, but that's near normal by the time we get to Wednesday. Overall, next few weeks, long range, there's still no sustained cold air inside. It was a day like this. Here there. We like that. Okay. That's right. That's right now. It's time to look at what we're working on for eyewitness news at five. Shot a better lot here with a lot of shot. Hi, you guys. We're coming up today at five. Burned out cars and messages of hate spray painted in a local community. The disturbing images. And why is people so hurt? Also, a new test for pregnant women that could end up saving their lives and their baby. And our coverage on the Penn State scandal continues with more of ABC's exclusive interview with the mother of one of the big ones. Uh, that's tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. Back to you, Bill. Uh, speaking of Penn State, so many of you have interacted with us about that scandal. That's right. Ellen says, our middle daughter attended PSU. It's a wonderful place. It's a safe place. And I would never hesitate to recommend PSU to anyone. I would agree is the events of recent days do not have anything to do with the exemplar of education that is offered there. Well, Demetrius tells us he would reconsider sending his children to Penn State. Their reputation would have to be repaired, and they would have to earn the trust of us, the parents, by showing that our children are not just dollar signs. Thank you for writing to us. We love hearing from you. We're seven online, the web, or on your mobile device. <laughs> Along with the first floor, we are Brooklyn Bound in our latest seven blonde adventure. You can find great food, art, and Brooklyn Bound. I love it, Brooklyn Bound. I love it, it's a seven I'll 
first requirement is the uh, loose end. Are we recording? Oh man. Did you get the news here? You don't have to watch it on TV. I can believe I have it on, on my channel. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thanksgiving movie. I forget the journey done. And sweet the night away in your bed. They're all on sale. Interest free till 2016. Nobody down to the bridge. Now I have a feel. Walk over here. So far, huh? Eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. Eight minutes I record. I will record up to fifteen minutes. Oh, you can only record fifteen minutes. Yeah. yeah. YouTube, uh, YouTube allow you to only upload to fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. Like that. even a small beach. Seven blocks from the station is the River Cafe, one of the city's most celebrated restaurants. Final day, so seven blocks in Brooklyn. AC train. Then get online and fill your stomach with a pizza that some will argue is among the best in New York. Grimaldi's. Art and amazing views can all be found within seven blocks of the high school station in Brooklyn. We're really getting a light this is So what is interesting in the seven blocks around your subway stop or your New Jersey transit station or your LI double up stop? Go to sevenonline.com. You know, write us, let us know. We may even ask you to be our tour guide in the video. You like it because we get the same through it. Oh, that, that was beautiful. Yeah. 
Well, an Army Staff Sergeant from Missouri finds a way to make his homecoming even more special for his young daughter. Madison Merriger built her school at Deer Valley Elementary in an early celebration for U.S. troops on Veterans Day. It's a special holiday for her because her father has been fighting. He's been away uh, in the Middle East since Christmas. So Madison turned around, saw her dad Mark standing there. She burst into tears and gave him a huge hug. I watch these TV shows sometimes, and when these little kids see their dad, they can't see it.